Given the pattern so far, Kanji's already inside the TV. I wonder what the Midnight Channel really is. Hmm. At first, I thought it was one of those paranormal things, but when I gave it a try, it was real. Turns out it's actually connected to another world. If there's a rumor going around, that means a bunch of people are watching it. How did the rumor go? If you stare into a turned-off TV on a rainy night... No one in their right mind would try something that ridiculous, don't you think? Unless someone urged them to. But if you actually try, it does work. And not just once. If this rumor spreads and everyone starts watching the Midnight Channel... It could cause a huge panic. If Teddy is right, the missing people themselves create the stuff we see. So it's not random. It's specifically related to whoever goes missing. Huh. Yukiko had a show too, but she doesn't remember doing anything like that. Um, this might be a little off subject, but the culprit is probably watching the shows that come on, right? No doubt. He's probably sitting back and enjoying... Oh, wait a sec. I bet he is enjoying it. He's probably laughing his head off watching the show that comes on after he throws people into the TV! Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's definitely possible. Ugh. Now when I think of the killer, I get this image of a total sicko. Instead of a regular I guy who kills people. I about you, Yuki-chan. Oh, eh, eh. Wait. So if people saw Yukiko's show, do you think people were watching what happened to me too? Oh, that is it! That killer is dead meat! I'm gonna leave footprints all over his face! Guys, first we save Kanji, then we crush the killer! Finally, we crush the killer and send him to hell! Got it? You've all strengthened your resolve to save Kanji. Teddy, someone's here, right? Oh, yep. I think someone's here. You think? Do you know where he is? I don't know. We think it's a boy named Kanji. I don't know. What's wrong? Not feeling well? Well, I sniff and I sniff, but I still can't tell where the smell comes from. Aren't you thinking too much about too many things? I mean, last time you were wondering about who you really are and how long you've been here. Your head's empty to begin with, dude. Don't stress out over stuff too much. You're right. Whoa, he's seriously down about this. If you can't figure out where Kanji is, we're in deep trouble. We can't just wander around aimlessly in a place like this. I know what might help. You should give me a clue about this kanji person. It's just a feeling I have. I think I could concentrate better with it. Do you have anything that could give me a good understanding of him? Something about kanji, huh? I can't really think of anything besides all the rumors about him. Yeah, it's not like we know him that well. I just need some sort of hint. Something that tells me what he's really like. Why don't we ask around and find people who know kanji-kun personally? Teddy may be able to grasp Kanji's location if he gets more information about Kanji. But what kind of information does he need? You decide to ask around town about Kanji. Are you here to ask about Kanji too? Sheesh, I wonder where he's wandered off to now. He's always like this. 
You know, there was a small boy who came in asking about him not too long ago. I talked to him too, but I haven't seen him around lately. A boy who talked to Kanji? Could it be the small boy from before? <laughs> Just referring to Naoto as a small boy. <laughs> if it was him and he was with Kanji, he might know something. You decide to search for the boy. Your affection, your affection, take it from me. I'll tell you when to make yourself a hero. Ah, you're looking for a small boy wearing a hat? Ah, yes, I've seen him, the small boy. He's been hanging around here lately. Even asked me all this stuff about that incident. He was just over there a little while ago, but maybe he'll be back tomorrow? You decide to return here tomorrow. That's all we can do for today. The flowers for camp, what they went for, they have to die here, here, here. The flowers will blossom in the stream of tears, they still tickle my heart. Um, until you go into the TV world and find the location at least once, none of your friends are going to want to hang out with you. Well, your, um... Your... Your persona friends. Um, I'm going to get my drinks first. Okay. And uh, we can come back tomorrow, so that's the soonest we can, uh... Like, sometimes this, uh, investigation stuff takes multiple days. This only takes two days, but we have to do those, uh, and then we have to come back the next day to find Naoto and Juness. Yasugami Hi Jim. You attended basketball practice. Balls have been polished, the floor's been mopped. Let's grab some grub. I'm down for some Aya. <sighs> How do you always pop up when we start talking about food? All right, let's get changed, then head over to Aya. Whoa. Oh, damn. I forgot, I can't. What are you arguing with yourself about? Sorry. I just remembered some personal stuff I've got to take care of. You two go on ahead. Sorry, guys. Ah. Today's the day he goes before the almighty house of Ichijo. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt if I told you. In fact, I could use your help. Daisuke looks serious. You head to Aya to listen to what Daisuke has, has to say. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner Aya. About Ko. Daisuke slowly begins to open up. I don't really like talking behind his back like this, but I want you to help him out. Thanks, man. Daisuke nods somberly. It's about Ko's family. He lives by himself, but his parents' place is like right next door. Once a week or so, he drops by there like he did today. His family is... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Distinguished? Very traditional. Very strict. You'd never know just by looking at him, though. The head of the Ichijo family is Ko's grandma. They follow her orders like she's the law. Problem is, the old crone doesn't approve of him playing basketball. She calls it barbaric. Hmm. Well, according to her, there are sports that are proper, and those that aren't. Daisuke sighs. He's been forced to quit a lot of things since he was a kid. 
but not basketball. He can't give this up. So I want you to help him out. Okay. I'm glad I came to you. Daisuke looks relieved. I'm glad I can rely on you. You sense Daisuke's trust in you. After worrying about Ko with him, you feel your relationship with the pair has grown deeper. This one's on me, so eat up, man. Uh, I used up my allowance. Uh, hey, how about some jakai? Those are good. You talked with Daisuke for a while about school. You decided to go home after saying goodbye. Welcome home! Nanako is pacing back and forth restlessly. Dad's late again today. Hello? Dojima Residence? Dad! Huh? Really? Yeah! Okay, I understand. Dad's coming home now. <laughs> I need to get dinner ready. Nanako is in high spirits. Florida pickled radish. Dad'll be disappointed. Really? Thank you! Big bro! Nanako looks really happy. <laughs> We're going shopping together! Nanako looks happy. You feel Nanako's affection for you and that your relationship with her has grown deeper. You went to Juness with Nanako. A while later at the house. I'm back! Dad! Welcome home! Where did you go at this time of night? Oh, uh, Juness? Didn't I tell you not to go outside this late? home, so I... No matter what your reason was, rules are rules. You promised me, remember? Nanako looks sad. You don't have enough courage? Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> I... didn't do... any... Thing. Nanako looks ready to cry. Dad, stupid! Stupid, stupid! Nanako, how dare you call your father stupid? You explained to Dojima why you went with Nanako to Juness. Pickled radish? For me? <sighs> Is that so? But I still can't allow kids to be walking around this late at night. You know how dangerous it's been lately. You shouldn't be wandering around out there at night either. Dojima yelled at you too. You decided to go back to your room. Yo! You! According to the weather report, we won't have to worry about the fog for a while. Let's keep cool like usual. We can save the day and still keep our skills sharp. Yeah, it's not going to do anyone any good if we get anxious. Let's be sure to use the time we have until the next foggy day to our advantage so we can save them for sure. Hey everyone! They, they posted the test results! Ugh, the awful moment of truth. Oh well, 
Want to check it out? You decided to check the test results. Your score was in the top 10. Wow, nice. Good going, you. You're so smart. Hey, your social link friends seem to be congratulating you. That's a little boost to everyone at school. Lunch break is almost over. You decided to return to class. Oh, now you want to hang out with me. something you need? Many people from the town come and meet here. It's a very convenient location, isn't it? Wasn't this the boy who met with Kanji some time ago? He may know something about Kanji. You're asking if anything seems strange when I spoke to Kanji-kun, yes? Hmm, very well. It seems to be an urgent matter, so I'll simply tell you. If you're asking about recent events, then yes, there was something out of the ordinary. It was something I felt when I was with him, so I told him outright that he seemed to be an odd person. After I said that, his expression changed all of a sudden. I was quite surprised. On that basis, I believe his actions were somewhat forced and unnatural through the time I was with him. He may have some sort of complex, though I have no proof of this. It seems Kanji has a complex or something of that nature. Damn, he just liked me for real. Kanji's purported reaction to the phrase odd person... Maybe this is enough of a clue for Teddy to go on. You should report to Teddy as soon as possible. Yo! Yasugami Hi Jim. You attended basketball practice. Huh? The others already left? This is exactly why this team is... Uh, whatever. Hey, good news! You're getting a team manager! Now you guys won't have to take turns doing all the work anymore. You can thank me later. Go on, introduce yourself! I, Ebihara. Great! You can take it from here. I'm going home. What? I'm gonna tell you guys straight up, I'm not lifting a finger for this team. I wouldn't be caught dead watching out for a bunch of sweaty guys. Huh? Then why do you- I've missed too many days of school, but they'll let me move up if I manage a team. But don't expect me to put any effort into it. For the most part, I'm not even gonna be here. Goodbye. Well, see ya. <laughs> or not. Their moon social link. <sighs> yeah, that's about what I expected when I saw I here. So much for having a manager. All right. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's grab some food. Central Shopping District Chinese Diner Aya. Man, this place has been calling to me in my dreams ever since I had to bail on you guys last time. How'd it go? What? The dream? Oh, you mean with my family? Well, it's complicated. Ko is laughing. Daisuke told you all about it, right you? My family's pretty interesting. Arranged marriages for political gain are pretty standard with us. Just the other day I was greeting people at one of those high society gatherings. Can you imagine? Me? At one of those things? <laughs> Seriously. I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Ko smiles wryly. Anyway, if you ever run into anyone in my family, don't tell them I eat here or talk like this. At home, it's nothing but studying, tea ceremonies, and lessons. To them, I'm the prim and proper Ko-sama. Ko-sama? Yep, that's what they call me. I know it sounds crappy, but hey, they feed me and give me an allowance. 
I need to do my part too, you know? I don't know, man. Uh, it doesn't matter. It might all be over soon anyway. We're an old-fashioned family, so the Ichijo name has been passed on from generation to generation. But the last male of the family, my dad, didn't have any kids to pass the name on to. Well, they weren't going to let the Ichijo name just up and die, so they adopted me. And then, what do you know? My dad ended up having a kid after all. A girl. I guess you could say she's a little sister to me. Her name's Sachiko. She's almost two, and she's really cute, you know? Ko tries to sound cheerful. Cheer up? Come on, I've got more cheer than I know what to do with! See? Just look at me. Ko grins. It's better this way. Becoming the, su the successor would be a major hassle. And really, it should go to a blood relative. Sorry. Didn't mean to put a damper on the mood. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> yeah. Your heart-to-heart -heart talk with the players showed you Daisuke and Ko's trust. Just forget I said any of that stuff. Oh man, did I tell you guys about the one in a million shot I made? You talked about practice with Daisuke and Ko. After saying goodbye, you decided to go home. Welcome back. Hey, you! They say you did well on that last exam. I heard about it when I was investigating. It's great to see you're taking care of your responsibilities, even though you just moved here. I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. But don't spend it all in- Nah, you can use it however you like. Ooh! Well... There's a chilled gulping melon cream soda. This is- this doesn't do anything. You power down the entire bottle in less than a minute. The sweetness of the melon perfectly matches the taste of the cream. Going on and on and on. Okay, so... What they wear, what they have to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, when you get to knowledge level three, you can go see Margaret. Something is different from usual. You don't see Igor or Mar Marie anywhere. Oh, excuse me. Do you have any business here? Mm, as you can see, my master is currently away. If your errand isn't urgent, I regret to ask that you come back late. No, that won't do. This room is bound tightly to your fate. Nothing here happens without a reason. There must be meaning in our meeting here alone. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I am Margaret. I am the one who rules over power, invited here after my predecessor's sudden disappearance. You may be the first person who has ever been welcomed here by someone other than my master. The Velvet Room is inseparable from the heart of its invited guest. The shape of the room and its residents are selected by my master, based on the number of guests and their destiny. Shall we chat? I feel that is what I'm called to do. A faint smile appears on Margaret's face. Her eyes have a hint of gentleness in them, unlike her normal gaze. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Margaret. So this is, like, every time you complete one of her requests, the social link levels up, so you can technically do it all at once, except some of the requests, I mean, well, all of them have a, like, uh, level prere prerequisite. Um, 
So as we level up, she's just really, she's ta she's taking a nap. Um, it's, it's just like the uh, strength uh, confidant in Persona 5, but you can technically do it all at once if you want to. Um, I mean, like at the end of the game, you have to be a certain level. It seems you have several social links already. Recurring meetings, recurring words. By deepening your understanding of one another, your bonds strengthen. But sometimes the heart is shaken more by a single action than a thousand words. Do you understand? <laughs> Today's meeting might be classified as that single action. I've decided. The strand of fate you follow, entangle me within it as well. Perhaps a new bond will be spun. There is something I have wanted to know, and you are the first guest I welcomed here. In light of today's meeting with my master absent, hmm. I believe we are both special to one another. Margaret is smiling. I want to know more about you. First, I think I shall have you show me your rare persona ability. Let me see. Show me an Ipon Tatara that knows Sukukuja. The heart is shaken more by a single action than by a thousand words. Have you already forgotten? <laughs> then I have something to look forward to. I wish you well. So I'll just be looking up how to... How to do... Uh, that. I, uh, I'll, I'll go back and do that one on, um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, when I go to the TV world, I'll be fusing personas anyway. Uh, you have to talk to I to set up her social link. Uh, and I need level three courage for that. So I'm almost there. In the stream of tears, they still feel my heart. Okay, why don't we like finally show up for our uh, our job. You were introduced to the children as an assistant caretaker. The children are extremely interested in you. Mister, do you have a girlfriend? Don't ask him that, you creep! Let's play tag, mister! You're it! You survived the children hugging you in every direction. There is one boy remaining. It seems his guardian hasn't come to pick him up. How are things, Yukun? Has everyone been picked up? Looks like Yutakun is still here. It's always like this, though. Oh, Yukun. I'm sorry I'm late. Whatever. Are you one of the supervisors? I see. Thanks for taking care of him. I'm sure Yukun will cause you trouble again, but please take care of him. Yeah, this gets <laughs> confusing. <laughs> I just remember that my name is with one U. You to me, not me. He's full of energy during his play sessions. Maybe too much energy. But once she arrives, he's a totally different kid. She's his stepmother, so I guess it can't be helped. Yutakun's father got remarried to that woman you just met. I heard she's from the city. I really don't know what she's thinking. Perhaps that's why Yutakun is a troublemaker at school, too. The other day, he... The caretaker continues gossiping. 
You finished your job helping at the daycare center and went home. Welcome home! Nope. 